Growing up, I always heard Tallahassee was a great place to raise a family. My parents moved here and still live here for that reason. But since the pandemic, you can't drive around town without noticing the increase of homeless people flying signs on corners, sitting under oak trees downtown, or asking for food outside the Costco. There's a cluster of motels by the interstate that were probably built to host visitors who come for Florida State games, but now they act as housing for Tallahassee's poorest residents. We wanted to know what life was like in Tallahassee for these families living in those motels who were put on waiting list after waiting list for the shelter, rapid rehousing, and rental assistance. Through a nonprofit that feeds low-income families, we met a mom, her partner, and their four kids, two dogs, and three cats who lived in a 200 square foot room in one of the motels off of I-10. We spent days with the family visually documenting their lives as they struggled to do daily tasks. We saw the father use a plastic bag as a belt for his pants. We saw the mother, who for the most part kept a straight face, lose her composure after she begged the motel staff to let her family stay in the room for one more night. They were evicted that afternoon. This was a four-part series about homelessness in Tallahassee told from the perspective of the family, nonprofits, city and county government, and accompanied with a photo story. Weeks after publication, the newest commissioner called for a workshop to address the precarious situation exposed by the Tallahassee Democrat. For the homeless mother, it meant her kids got a Christmas with a roof over their heads. Thank you for considering us and the Tallahassee Democrat for the James Batten Award.